Good evening, sisters and brothers, and welcome to Heston College's 2021 Commencement Ceremonies. It is my honor to welcome you here this evening. I realize many of you are joining us this evening from all over the world, literally. It's an honor to have had your child here this year to study, or your loved one, or your grandchild, or whatever that relationship might be. But thank you for taking the time to join us. I realize that even though it's 7 p.m. here in Heston, Kansas, where you're viewing us and where you're joining us from, may be the middle of the night, but nonetheless, welcome. This has been an odd year for us at Heston College. COVID-19 came into our world over a year ago and changed everything for us, right? It changed your lives where you're at. It's changed our lives here in our community at Heston College. The way we study, the way we live, the way we do athletics, the way we interact with each other, the way we're able to go out or not go out. It's not been a normal year for us, but yet here we are at the end of this year. And graduates, to you I say congratulations. You have done a tremendous job in this achievement you have now made. I congratulate you. This evening's ceremony is going to take us to many different places. We're going to hear from different voices tonight. But this evening is about you, graduates, and the work that you have done, the perseverance that you have shown in this time of struggle. And it's not been easy, right? You've had to study hard. You've had to study different. You've had to engage with your faculty in different ways. And there's these ups and downs. Someday you could go to the classrooms, and other days you couldn't, but nonetheless, you persevered, you persevered, and here we are to celebrate with you. Congratulations again, class of 2021. prayer of invocation and prayer of dedication have historically been read by the parents of one of our graduates. This year, Harang Tiam from Yangong, Myanmar, parents of Benny Tong, will pray the prayer of invocation. And Nick and Sherry Ladd of Heston, Kansas, parents of Natalie Ladd, will pray the prayer of dedication. In recognition of our diverse student body, our theme scripture passage for this academic year, Exodus chapter 16, verses 4 through 6, will be read in three different languages by three of our graduates. Cristal Guzman, a general studies major from La Vega, Dominican Republic, will read in Spanish. Benisa Zogu, a biology major from Lej, Albania, will read in Albanian. And Luis Caraccioli, a psychology major from Corpus Christi, Texas, will read in English. Each year, Heston College invites nominations for students to speak at the commencement ceremony. This year, the students who receive the most votes and are representing the graduating class of 2021 are Kara Longnecker and Caleb Esch. Kara is from Harrisonburg, Virginia. During her tenure at Heston College, Kara has been on the women's soccer team, for which she served as captain this year, a member of Belcanto Singers, the secretary for the Student Advisory Council, and a resident assistant. Until this year, her major was undecided. However, Kara will be returning to Heston College in the fall of 21-22 as one of the first majors in our new School of Management. Caleb is an engineering major from Caldwell, Idaho. During his time here at Heston College, Caleb has been a resident assistant, lent his singing talent to Belcanto singers, and served as a peer educator. Caleb plans to transfer to Eastern Mennonite University next year to pursue his Bachelor of Science in Engineering degree. Kara and Caleb, you both truly exemplify 
what it means to be a liberal arts student. And we look forward to you sharing your memories and your words of wisdom with your classmates, the Heston College community, and your family and friends. But we will find the Greetings from Myanmar. I am the father of Benny Van Boy Thong. I'm very happy to be part of your commandment service. Shall we bow a head in prayer? Dod na ke akat mi boy pa kan patian. Heston College community chungi na that nak le. Zum ok tak na sinak chunga kanilomi na min kanin thang that. An ngai mi in le lopina. John Piak Tu Sia Sia Ma Te Le Fim Thiam Nak Chong Ding In Na Tha Mi Sia Ngak Chia Vya Te Chunga Kan Ni Lo Mi Na Min Kan Ni Thang Chat An Kar La Ka Kan Hu Mi Dod Nak Le Zon Ruat Nak Chunga Kan Ni Lo Mi Boi Pa An Di La Kar La Ka Hi Dod Nak Le Zon Ruat Nak Hi Ni Khat Nu Ni Khat Kar Tir Chin Leng Mang Kau Ti Zong Ngak Tha Kan Cham Hitil kan hu mi na hi nang ma tuwa mi an si cha na min kanin thang chat. Mai le chan zong a nang ma ni umpi tel pi na lo. Mit mai cha pe na lo. Lo tin na khe tsa chua na pe zong zal kao na tiya boi pa ta kan cham. Tu ta na associate certificate. Ang hu tu ding siang hak siya vial te chung zong a kanin lo. Nang ma ni lo tin na na pek na cha na min thang chat sa kao se. Mai lei cha ni karan landing mi vial te zonga nang ma ni umpi tel pi na lo. Lo tin na khe tsa chua pe kao na tiya na ku tiang lima kanin chan na. Hi program ram tok ina dong tiang. Nang ma ni lam na kan shuwa yi. Tsa chua na pek mi a si ko na nga. Kan program le kan chan vial te chua na ku tiang lima abuin. Nafapa Jesus Christ minenta kan cam kan pa kan petian, Amin. Hello, Heston community, friends, and family. My name is Kara Longenecker, and I couldn't be more honored to be in this position as one of your commencement speakers this year. In reflecting on my time at Heston, there are so many good memories that come to mind from the past two years. Here are just a few. Freshman games with the Bills and Normas in their interesting costumes. Meeting people on Walk a Mile. Playing in our first collegiate sports games and shouting, Lark me up. Kevin's classes with his booming voice and high energy. Minute to win it Fridays and saying Hiles Kashikta for Nick and Michelle in Bib Lit. Culture's fair with all the delicious smells and varieties of food made by the international students. Late nights spent hanging out with friends going on Druber's runs, or cheese fries from Newell's, instead of doing homework, going to theater productions to watch Alex take on a new character, bell concerts with the dynamic duo of Russell and Ken, the Feast of Kara's Meal, and walking through our blights, weekends consisting of cab events, sporting events, and maybe a travel Kansas trip, working hard and surviving finals week, and finally, Christmas break. So excited to go home, but having a hard time saying goodbye to friends then realizing that in a short time, we would be back with so many hopes and expectations for the spring semester. And things were going great until a mandatory student meeting was called by Deb Roth on March 12th, 2020. Huh? What is this about? None of us had a clue as we all gathered in the CAF. What? COVID? We have to go home and classes will be online and maybe we'll be back on April 13th? But we didn't come back. We stayed online, participating in Zoom and Google meetings, doing everything remotely. It was hard, it was draining, and ultimately it wasn't what any of us expected of this year. 2020 was just one upsetting thing after another, not only with COVID, but with the events of Black Lives Matter, police brutality, and the upcoming election. Everything was a mess, and yet somehow we made it through. We finished our online classes and then went on with our summer, not sure if we'd be back next semester or not. But because we are a small college, we were back in the fall of 2020. Things were different, with masks hiding people's faces and practicing social distancing everywhere you went. But with the rules and guidelines in place, we were able to have in-person classes, even though we had to endure quarantines and adjusted sports seasons. Life was looking up. Now, here we are, May 1st, 2021, with masks and precautions, 
It's still in place, but we have taken huge steps forward. Nothing has been normal, and we have experienced two years at Hessen College that no one has ever experienced before. Who would have thought a pandemic would hit during our years here? And somehow, I think that has made a huge impact on the people we are today. We went through something unimaginable together, and we'll remember it for the rest of our lives. So, I hope we will move forward with changed hearts and changed minds. If this pandemic has taught me one thing, it's taught me to never take anything for granted, to enjoy what is here and now, and to push through adversity. So thank you, faculty, staff, and class of 2021, for being the people I got to walk beside on this crazy journey. For the conversations I had with incredible mentors like Morel V. Mascara, Brian Kerr, Holly Schwarzenschuber, Dr. Karen Moem, President Joe, Terrence Jones, and so many others. I will be forever grateful for the opportunities I had here, and I love it so much, I'll be back next year. So, as the aviation nursing students and I would say, start here, stay here. But for the rest of you, go everywhere. Parents, Heston community, faculty and staff, family and friends, my name is Caleb Esch, and I can't tell you how much it means to me to be speaking to you today. What a time these past two years have been, from the freedoms and adventures of a free and new first three-fourths of freshman year, to being sent home because of COVID, and then returning for this year's classes and making the best out of what we've been dealt, as Kara has reminisced about. These two years have been a roller coaster, to say the least. They have been fun, exciting, stressful, devastating, eye-opening, and most importantly, a chance to learn about ourselves and find out who we are away from our parents, who we want to be and what we want to become. That is the one thing that is incredible about Heston. You get the chance to experience life away from home. You get to form your beliefs, explore new horizons with your interests, and even if you don't know what you want to do for a major, you can try out many different classes to find something that sticks out to you. Be that with Nick and Michelle, pushing us to really think about where our beliefs come from and what we actually believe through Biblet or Peace and Justice. Or with Will, showing us exciting science experiments, some of which we probably shouldn't try at home. And the other incredible experiences we've gained with all the other professors while we've been building lifelong relationships with a family-like community that we couldn't experience anywhere else. With competitive intramurals, pickup games of sand volleyball, long study nights in the nest, and of course, the, all the donut and cheesy fry runs. Heston is a place to push us forward and prepare us for the next steps in life. Start here and go everywhere, right? Unless, of course, you start here and stay here, aviation, nursing, and new business students. Now some have a very distinct path that they want to take for their next school, whether that be for athletics or for a specific major. Nursing and aviation students will go out, find jobs, flying planes, and saving lives. Others will take a gap year and explore who they are and what they want to do. And some are still searching for their path. But no matter where you are with these future plans, I think we can all agree that Heston has been a place where the lessons that we have learned and can take into our futures are not only academic. We have been enlightened to many different cultures through chapels and forums with John Murray, Carlo de Pons, Tony Brown, and Dr. Karin Moem. We have been shown kindness and compassion from our professors when we are struggling with homework or worried about our exams. And of course, we can't forget the important lesson we've learned to love the library. Heston has not only been a place for education, it has become a second home. We could not thank our professors, our mentors, our maintenance crew, our, and our faculty and staff enough for the experiences they have allowed us to have here in this small town in Kansas. Thank you, Heston. For all the memories. Éxodos 16, del 4 al 6. Entonces el Señor le dijo a Moisés, Haré llover pan del cielo para ti. La gente debe salir todos los días y recolectar lo suficiente para ese día. De esta manera los probaré y veré si siguen mis instrucciones. El sexto día prepararán lo que traigan, que será el doble de lo que recojan los demás días. Entonces Moisés y Aarón dijeron a todos los israelitas, 
por la tarde sabrán que fue el Señor quien los sacó de Egipto. Exodi 16, 4, 3, 6 Zoti tha Moisiot, Ja, un do të bëj që të bjerë në banë mbi juve nga qieli, dhe populli do të dalë gjdo dit për të mbledhë racionin e ditës, sepse unë dua të avë në provë për të parë nëse do të eco se jo si mbas ligjit tim. Por ditën e gjasht, kur do të përgatisi në zullimin që duhet të qojnë në shtëpi, a i do tjetë dy fishi ati që mbledhin gjdo dit. Ather Moisiu dhe Aroni u thanë gjithë bive të Izraelit. Në mbrëmje do të mësoni që Zoti është a i që jënë zori nga vendi Egyptit. I will be reading from Exodus 16, verses 4 through 6. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will rain down bread from heaven to you. The people are out to go each day and gather enough for that day. In this way, I will test them and see whether they will follow my instructions. On the sixth day, they are to prepare what they bring in, and that is to be twice as much as they gather on the other days. So Moses and Aaron said to the Israelites, in the evening, you will know that it was the Lord who brought you out of Egypt. In the spring of 2018, Heston College faculty approved a new honors program that stacked additional requirements onto our various associate degrees. Those requirements included higher expectations for academic rigor, critical thinking and research, integrative and transcultural learning, and preparation for life. This year, we are awarding either Associate of Arts or Associate of Science degrees with honors to seven of our graduates. As each student and their degree received is presented, you will note this special distinction. Congratulations to each of them for going above and beyond our standard degree requirements. Also, each year the Heston College academic community honors members of the graduating class who have achieved a grade point average of 3.9 to 4.0 during their time of study on our campus. To qualify for this recognition, a student must have accumulated a minimum of 30 credit hours at Heston College. Earning a GPA between 3.9 and 4.0 is certainly a significant accomplishment. The students who have made the Dean's List based upon their career GPA will receive a gold honor cord along with their regalia to recognize this achievement. On the screen, you will note the names of the students who are graduating on the Dean's List Congratulations to all of these hardworking and exceptional students. And now, here are the graduates of the Heston College Class of 2021. Heston College grants the following degrees, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, Associate of Applied Arts and Sciences, and Associate of General Studies. President Monicum, the faculty have recommended the following students to receive a bachelor's or associate degree from Heston College. By the authority vested in me by the Mennonite Education Agency and the Heston College Board of Directors, I confer upon you the degree earned through your program of study. Bachelors of Science, Bachelors of Science in Nursing, Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, Associates of Applied Arts and Sciences, or Associates of General Studies. Congratulations to each of you for the significant accomplishment.
My name is Brittany Buller, and my plans after graduation are to go to University of Kansas Health System Hospital in Kansas City and to work on the acute care rotation. My name is Darian Cave. I'll be working at Wesley Medical Center in the CICU after graduation. My name is Jocelyn Chavez, and I plan to move back to California and hopefully work on a med surge unit. Hi, my name is Alyssa Davis. I currently work at William Newton Hospital, which is where I plan to stay after I graduate. Um, and then I would like to continue with my education and go from there. I'm Erica Entz, and when I graduate, I plan to work in an ER or ICU, possibly in Newton. My name is Vivian Gonzalez, and my plans after I graduate is to move back to San Antonio and start my career at one of the hospitals and also pursue my education in my master's in nursing. I'm Whitney Getterslow, and I'm going to be working in the coronary ICU at Wesley. Hi, my name is Sam Hallaby. Um, I, after graduation, I plan to work as a CICU nurse at the Kansas Heart Hospital here in Wichita, Kansas. My name is Faith Hallmark, and after graduation, I plan to work at Heartland Dermatology in Wichita, Kansas. My name is Annalise Hanna, and after graduation, I plan to move back to Denver, Colorado and work in an ICU. I, Lindsay Harris, have accepted a position in the NICU at Wesley Medical Center. I'm Dina Jacobs, and after graduation, I will continue working at Hillsborough Community Hospital. And in September, my husband and I will be welcoming our first baby. I'm Hannah Jurgensen, and I plan to work in an ICU in the Wichita area. I'm Gretchen Kallenbach, and I would like to start out in the ICU and then eventually move into labor and delivery. I am Megan Keener. After graduation, I plan on working as a med surge nurse at Wesley Woodlawn. I'm Morgan Kendall-Sparger, and I plan on working at Wesley Medical Center in the ICU. My name is DJ Kinty. Uh, after graduation, I will be working at Hetrick Air Services in Lawrence, Kansas, flying Kinger 350s and Hawker 800s. Hi, my name is Kelsey Langley, and I have accepted a position at Wesley Medical Center in their medical ICU. Hi, my name is Elena Lehman, and I'll be working in a labor and delivery unit when I graduate. My name is Chris Lichty, and after graduation, I'm planning to stay around here in the area and work at flight safety in Wichita and potentially do a little bit of uh, flight instruction. My name is Jenna Garcia. My plans after graduation is go to Kansas City and be an ICU nurse. Hi, my name is Olivia McDonald. After graduation, I plan to work at Newton Medical Center's Emergency Department. I'm Risa McGar, and I plan on working on a med surge unit for a couple years, and then um, venturing out into either ER trauma or labor and delivery. My name is Cicely Moody, and after graduation, I plan to work at St. Joe in their CCU. My name is Chelsea Narabao, and I have not made any plans for my career, but I plan to work in labor and delivery. My name is Amber Petrie, and after graduation, I will be starting as a nurse at Shabalter Villa here in Heston. My name is Daisy Pham, and following graduation, I plan on working at Kansas Medical Center in the cardiac telemetry unit. My name is Laura Real, and I plan to work at Hutchinson Regional Medical Center after graduation. Hi, my name is Cassidy Siemens, and I'll be working in an ICU at Hutchinson Regional Hospital.
My name is Austin Troyer. After graduation, I'll be working with JetLynx Aviation Atlanta. My name is Anna Valero, and after graduation, I plan to go work in an ICU. My name is Callie Walker, and I will be working at Salina Regional Health Center as a medical oncology nurse. My name is Morgan Walter, and after graduation, I plan to work at Ascension Via Christi St. Teresa as a circulating nurse in the operating room. Hi, my name is Kinsey Weber, and after graduation, I will be working at NMC Health. My name is Kaylee Weedle, and I plan to work at Wesley Medical Center after graduation. Hi, my name is Hannah Wolfenberger, and I plan to be a travel nurse and a camp nurse. My name is Luke Allison, and after graduation, I'm going to either be doing volunteer service or living in a van. Probably both. My name is Christian Becker, and after graduation, I will be continuing my education at Kansas State University. Hello, I'm Jacob Bowler, and after I graduate Heston, I will be transferring to the University of the Cumberlands in Williamsburg, Kentucky. There, I'll major in youth ministry and play soccer. My name is Sydney Bontrager, and after graduation, um, I plan to come back here and go to nursing school for two years. My name is Luis Carcioli, and after Heston College, I will be attending a four-year university to continue my academics and collegiate career. I'm Spencer Conway, and I'm still exploring my options for next year, but I want to transfer somewhere. Hi, my name is Halen David, and I am undecided on what I'm doing next year. My name is Kate Nisione. After Hessen College, I plan on going to a four-year and continuing my baseball career. My name is Charlton Ferguson. My plans after graduating from Hessen is to continue schooling in the United States and possibly continue playing baseball as well. My name is Marcella Flores, and my plans for next year is to transfer to a new university to continue my studies in psychology. My name is Langston Flowers, and after I leave Hessen College, I plan on to continue my basketball career, and I'm still choosing. I'm Olivia Galbraith, and after graduation, I plan to attend Eastern Mennonite University and major in nursing. Hi, I'm Miley George, and after Heston, I plan on going on a service mission. I'm Morgan Grayville, and after Heston College, I'm going to Goshen College. My name is Kayla Gunn, and after this, I will be a camp counselor at Camp Meniscot, and then I will come back here as a part-time commuter student. My name is Cristal del Alba Guzman Neris, and I will stay at Heston College in the nursing program after graduation. Hi, my name is Jose Hando. After graduation, uh, I, I didn't decide where I'm going, but I am keep trying playing baseball, and then trying to study hard, and try to be a personal trainer. Uh, my name is Jacob Hess. After graduation, I hope to go to JMU or go to Blue Ridge Community College and spe uh, learn specifically physics. My name is Shoei Imaizumi, and I, I will transfer to other state, and I pray, and I still play baseball. I'm Jerome Jackson. I plan on pursuing my business and management degree after Heston. Hi, my name is Xavier Zhang, and after graduation, I'll transfer to the other college or university more towards the east side, but I haven't decided which uh, school to go. My name is Shanti Kaufman, and after graduation, I will be going to Bethel to major in social work. My name is Anthony Kaufman, and after Heston, I'll be going into the workforce.
My name is Destiny Kise and I plan to transfer and continue my education in athletic training. Hi, my name is Braden Ketley and my future plans are to transfer. I'm not exactly sure where, but hopefully to continue my baseball career. My name is Ethan Claussen, and after graduation, I plan to attend EMU for two years in mechanical engineering. Hi, my name is Koi Kuhn, um, and my future plans next year are to transfer somewhere in hopes of becoming a personal trainer. My name is Natalie Ladd, and next year I'm planning on attending Eastern Mennonite University to study social work. Hi, my name is Ping and Lin Dixon. Um, I'm going to graduate in this spring and then I'm planning to transfer to another four years university. That's my graduation plan. Hi, I'm Grace Litweiler and after Heston College, I will be working with Mennonite Voluntary Service as a marketing and communications director for a literacy agency in Tucson, Arizona for a year. I'm Kara Longenecker, and after graduation, I will actually be coming back to Heston and participating in the business management program for the next two years. Start here, stay here. My name is Lozano Lovett, and after graduation, I plan on either enrolling into K-State or Houston University, but I'm keeping my options open if I can still play basketball. Hi, my name is Jaden Maddock and next year I plan on transferring to UMKC and getting my degree um, in social work. Hi, my name is Trey McCullough. After this, I plan on moving back to Colorado and opening my own business. Hello, my name is Jake McKenzie. I'll be attending Kansas State University in the fall of 2021. I'm Alexander Miller, and after graduation, I plan to attend the University of Granada in Spain. My name is Sidore Lamiestre. Uh, my plans for next year are to continue my studies for pre-med for dentistry to Iona College, New York. Hello, my name is Baldomero Moreno. Um, after graduation, my plans are to keep uh, studying in probably Culver Stockton College, Missouri and also keep playing soccer. Hi, my name is Demorita. After the graduate, I'm be, I'll be continuing study and soccer in Texas. My name is Paige Myers, and after I leave Hessen, I'm going to Bluffton University to major in social work. My name is Erica Nacarado, and after graduation, I plan to stay here at Heston for two more years to study nursing and graduate with my BSN degree. My name is Olivia Nava, and after graduating from Heston College, I'm going to be continuing my education at Bethel College and playing softball there. I'm Daniel Oakes, and after graduation, I hopefully will go to the FAA Academy to become an air traffic controller. My name is Caleb Esch, and after I graduate Heston, I plan to attend EMU for the next two years and study mechanical engineering. My name is Michaela Agnesanti, and after graduation, I plan to stay here at Heston College to finish my BSN degree. I'm Kanske Okada. After I graduate, uh, I'm planning to transfer to university. Hi, my name is Carlos Oriana, and after graduation I plan to attend IU and continue my studies in political science. Hi, my name is Natalie Pramo, and after graduating here at Heston College, I will be staying here to continue my nursing. Hi, my name is Sue Park, and um, after Heston, I'll go back to South Korea and I will become a public accountant. Hello, my name is Mason Reeker, and after graduating, I plan to continue my education back in Indiana next year. My name is Jennifer Rodriguez, and after graduation, I will continue my education back in Texas. I'm Shuntaro Shimakura. Um, after the after graduate Heston, I will go, I will go to the Atlanta University. 
Hi, I'm Alexis Sylvie, and after graduating this semester, I plan on graduating from the nursing program next year. Hi, my name is Diane Seguilon, and I plan to go to Wichita State University for pre-med or criminal justice next year. My name is Mr. Steinhoff. Uh, my plans after graduating from Heston College are to attend another college and continue my student athletic career in playing soccer. I'm Leslie Teo. Um, after here, I'm going to go to Park University and major in elementary education. I'm Benny Tong, and my future plan after graduation is to be a part of the nursing program here in Heston College. Hi, I'm, I'm Tong Tian Lo, and after graduation, I'd like to apply OPT, and it will give me a chance to have more experience working in the United States, and after that, I'd like to continue my education here in the States. My name is Tana Tilly. After graduation, I am still undecided on where I'm going to attend college next, but I'm looking to play volleyball at a four-year and major in business and psychology. I'm Caitlin Tiver, and my plans for next year is to transfer to a four-year college and continue my education there. Hi, my name is Tanner Unruh. After I graduate, I plan on attending Bradley University, where I will major in electrical engineering and have a music minor. Hi, my name is Rachel Weaver, and after graduation, I will be staying here and doing the business management degree. My name is Hannah Williams, and after graduation, I plan to return next semester and study nursing. My name is Jessica Wilson, and after graduation, I plan to attend Texas A&M University. My name is Josh Wilson and after graduating I am going back home to New Zealand and I'm going to be coaching uh, baseball under 13s. My name is Ramina Jari and after my graduation I will be uh, coming back to Heston for my uh, four year degree uh, in business. My name is Toby Oder and after graduation I am going to be staying here at Heston and getting my bachelor's in aviation. I'm Benisa Zogo, and my plans for after Heston is taking a semester off so I can spend more time with my family and friends, and I hope that after that I can join Cal State on spring 2022. Students, employees, and alumni of Heston College are familiar with the rich diversity of our student body. Flags representing the home countries of our international students hang around the perimeter of the dining hall, and the global pathway along our sidewalks is a relatively new addition to our campus. These are visual reminders that our students come from many different places to study here at Heston. In spite of the pandemic, more than 25 countries were represented by our student body just this year, and we know how much the different cultures and perspectives that each student brings with them benefit our campus. As we celebrate our graduates today, we also want to specifically name the nations that are represented by our students who came to study in Heston, Kansas for two or four years. In addition to the United States of America, the class of 2021 includes graduates from 16 additional countries, U.S. territories, or sovereign nations, and those include Albania, the Bahamas, the Dominican Republic, Ethiopia, Guam, Honduras, Indonesia, Japan, Myanmar, New Zealand, the Philippines, the Republic of Korea, Rwanda, Spain, Taiwan, and the White Mountain Apache tribe. Many of you earned your degrees while studying in a language that is not your first language, and that is simply amazing. A special congratulations to each of you. You came from everywhere to start here, and now we wish you all the best as you go on to your next step and continue a life of learning. We are Nick and Sherry Ladd, parents of Natalie, mod parents of Luis and his modlings. And I also teach here in the Bible department and am Father Nick to the men's soccer team. We've come to love many, 
many of you amazing Heston College graduates over the past two years. And we gather with you today in celebration of you and to give thanks for who you are, of who you have been, and who you are becoming. Please pray with us. Creator God, giver of life, we thank you for this group of graduates, for their strength, for their resilience and perseverance they have shown in their years here at Heston, especially during this crazy and uncertain times of attending college through the COVID pandemic. And we thank you for the love, compassion, and grace that we have seen on display through them. As they move on from this place, may each one of these students be strong. As they step into new spaces and new experiences. Be curious. As they meet new and diverse people. Be courageous. As they do hard and perhaps unanticipated things. Be faithful. As they continue to live into and become the people you have created them to be. Be flexible as plans, ideas, and beliefs shift and grow. Be gracious. To accept help when offered. Be loving. To all of your creation, especially to those with whom they disagree or dislike. Be thankful. For those around them they call friends, family, mentors, teachers, and supporters. Be grateful. For the love that you have for each one of them. May these young adults become the light, your light, to a broken, divided, and hurting world. Help them to push us to be better. Thank you, loving God, for blessing this space, this institution, this community, Heston College, with these students for the past two years. It is a blessing to share in their growth, their joys, their sorrows, and their accomplishments Bless them and keep them as they go forth and endeavor to live into your kingdom. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Graduating class of 2021, what a celebration we've had. Listening to you, listening to faculty, listening to the praying parents, I hope you've found this time to be a blessing for you. Our theme verse was Exodus chapter 16, verses 4 through 6. And in this chapter, we read about the manna that God sent to God's children in a time in the desert. In many ways, this has been that desert for us this last year, year and a half. When you came here, when you joined us, whether it was two years ago or four years ago, this is not what you expected and that was not what you experienced, but here we are. But God has given us this manna, this manna that carried us through just enough for one day. And yet here we are at the end. As you go from here, class, I want to give you this challenge. I want to challenge you to be that manna for those that you are with. Be God's gift for them wherever you go. Take with you what you have learned here. Take with you what your faculty, your RAs, your, your friends, your classmates have instilled in you. How they have been that manna for you. Now you go and be that manna for others, my sisters and brothers. This world needs you. This world needs people who are willing to bring that manna in Christ's name for them, to serve them, to walk with them, to listen with them, to carry the burdens with them. That's what this world needs. Class of 2021, I am so proud of you. We, your faculty, your staff, we are proud of you. Your loved ones are proud of you and celebrating with you today as well. So as you leave here, I pray God's peace for you, I pray God's grace for you, and I pray God's love for you, that no matter where you go, these things will be translated through your life to those that you come in touch with. Go, my sisters and brothers, 
in God's love, joy, and peace. Class of 2021, I hope that someday soon you're able to look back on your time at Heston without the cloud of COVID getting in the way, on the friends you made, the things you learned, and the fun you had. And if you need some help, you can remember that you were the class to witness the porta potty on Bontrager Student Center, the Start Here Go Everywhere sign being respelled for Alumni Weekend. And I know that four of you are responsible for my office getting tortillaed this year. Have fun on the journey and congratulations. Hello, Heston College graduates. What an accomplishment it's been. This has been a challenging past few years and I've been encouraged and proud of the way that you've risen to meet the challenge every step of the way. Today is a chance for you to celebrate that moment and to look forward to the future. I hope that you will continue to ask the tough questions and continue to apply what you've learned here at Heston in the next step of life. For today, take a moment, look around you, and celebrate that moment with your friends and family. Congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations to the Heston College graduating class of 2021. Despite the unusual circumstances of this year, I think all of you did a great job in showing perseverance and navigating through some of these challenges and getting to this point. I'm really proud of all of you. I've especially appreciated getting to spend time with some of you as an instructor in class and also as an advisor. And I really think that you know, the, the work that I've seen from you shows that you have a bright future in front of you. So as you go through commencement exercises and plan your next steps, know that I'm proud of you, know that I value your achievement, and know that God goes with you as you move forward with your next steps. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. It has been a pleasure getting to know you all over the last two years. I look forward to seeing all the wonderful things I know that this graduating class is going to accomplish. Congratulations. Congratulations, Heston College graduates of 2021. College is a time to learn, to grow. And as you celebrate this time of graduation, and as you continue on in your goals, whether that's further education or whether that's going into the job market, I hope that you will remember your time at Heston College fondly, even as those of us that are staff and faculty will fondly remember you. 2021 Heston College graduates, hold your heads high, for resiliency through difficult times is your middle name. Good for you, congratulations. But may your first name, your identity, be this loving kindness. May you love other people, even the ones difficult to love, just as God loves you. Go in peace, joy, and love. Congratulations, Heston College graduates of 2021. The grades are in, the checking's done, and I've signed your diploma. You have lots to celebrate today. Achievements, completions, you've made it and have your degree. But today I'm celebrating the new beginning that you have in front of you. The chance to go out into the world and make a difference with what you've learned and what you've experienced here. May God bless your journey with wisdom, compassion, grace, and love as you head out to make a difference and serve others. Congratulations. I just want to say, well done, well done, well done. Your, your, your perseverance shows tremendous character, and with the character you've demonstrated, you will be very successful in this world, and you will do great things. Well done, Class of 221, well done. 
Congratulations, class of 2021, you did it. This year you've learned a lot about being flexible and about resiliency, and it's my hope that you take those traits with you wherever you go in the world. Again, congratulations. Graduates, congratulations on completing your associate's or your bachelor's degree. I wish you the best as you continue on with your schooling, or you take a gap year, or you enter the work world. I encourage you to be generous with your life and live it with empathy and kindness. Best wishes to you all. Congratulations and blessings to the class of 2021. You guys have had a very challenging year, probably one of the most challenging years, and yet we've seen you guys triumph. One of the things I'm most proud of you guys of is in a year where community has been most challenged, you guys have found creative ways to be community and to care for each other, and I'm very excited about that. I also am very encouraged and I want to bless you guys as you continue to go out into the world and I want to encourage you to continue to be the community of God and to call to the forefront of everyone's life that of God which is within all of us. Blessings and congratulations. Class of 2021, I'd like to read you a quote from Richard Rohr who is an author that's been meaningful to me. Invoked or not invoked, God is still present. God has worked anonymously since the very beginning. It has always been an inside and secret job. The spirit seems to work best underground. When above ground, humans start fighting about it. You can call this grace, the indwelling Holy Spirit, or just an evolution towards love. God is not in competition with anybody, but only in deep time cooperation with everybody who loves. Whenever we place one caring foot forward, God uses it, sustains it, and blesses it. We do not need to name it for its work to be done. May all your caring actions be blessed and sustained. Congratulations to each of you.